Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're going to look at the life and a series of portraits all based on Amelia Earhart. Now she's had a huge amount of accomplishments in her lifetime. So we're gonna first go over her biography and take a look at all those accomplishments. And now we're gonna do an art project based on those accomplishments. We're going to try to draw an airplane. Don't worry, this is not a hard lesson. You don't need to have any special skills to make this work. I'll walk you through it step by step. Okay, let's get started. Amelia Earhart was born in 1897 in Kansas. Her first flight wasn't until she was about 23 years old in 1920 when she took a ride at an air show. It was only a 10 minute ride, but she was hooked. Shortly thereafter, she started taking flying lessons and spent all of her time at the airfield learning everything she could about flying. And shortly after, she started setting records. Amelia Earhart proves in all these firsts that a person doesn't need to fit the mold to achieve anything they want to, they just need to have determination. Earhart, who now has earned the nickname Lady Lindy, was an American hero, and she was friends with famous people like First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Despite her success and the many records that she'd shattered, she still wasn't satisfied. She wanted to fly across the Atlantic again, but this time she wanted to pilot the plane and make the flight by herself. In 1932, Earhart became the first woman and only the second person since Charles Lindbergh to fly nonstop alone across the Atlantic Ocean. She left Harbor Grace, Newfoundland, Canada, and landed 15 hours later in Londonderry, Northern Ireland. This farmer was the only one to witness her landing. Amelia Earhart was the most famous female pilot in the world, and she wanted to be the first woman pilot to fly around the world. In 1937, she took off from Miami and hopped all the way across the world, taking off one last time from New Guinea to cross the South Pacific but her plane disappeared and she was never seen again. In today's art lesson, we're going to draw a small biplane just like Amelia Earhart's. The supplies you'll need for the lesson are a pencil, a paper, erasers, and something to color with like colored pencils, crayons, markers, or watercolor pencils. Let's start with the simple shapes. The main body of the plane is a long rectangle shape that squishes a bit in at the ends, almost like a long oval. The wings are long skewed rectangles that run perpendicular to the body of the plane. Perpendicular means in the opposite direction, like a cross. There are two wings and they're attached with bars. Amelia Earhart sat in the middle of the plane with her flying partner or co-pilot. The back of the plane also needs a fin like a shark's fin and the front gets a propeller. There are two wheels on the front of the plane and one in the back. You can give your plane any color and title you choose. If you'd like to learn more about Amelia Earhart or take a closer look at any of the portraits you saw today, you can just go to our website at www.npg.edu under portrait search, type in Amelia Earhart and the entire collection will come up there. Okay, thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.